Okay, so now I've got um, this connection to my database established. Let's write a query and run it. Okay, so to run a query, um, I'm going to want to store what it sends back. So I'm going to make a little variable right here called result. And I'm going to ask my connection to run a query. There's a little arrow, which is a hyphen and a, a greater than sign. And then inside these parentheses, I just write uh, my SQL query and some quotes. So these are going to be the same as they were when you were just writing pure SQL queries. So let's just select everything from the table called thing. And so this is going to query thing and grab everything that it returns. It's going to have the whole table stored inside this, this object result. Okay. So the first thing I need to do now is make sure that that worked. So if it didn't, um, this guy will have a false inside of it. And so I'll want to print out some kind of error message. Error problem. Accessing thing table. Um, this is more a message for me. Probably wouldn't want to show that to um, maybe the user. So I might say like the database here. Okay. And then I'm going to kill the page because the rest of my page is going to be based on this actually working. Again, this problem with X. Okay, I'll grab this X from down here again. This is so stupid. Thanks a lot, my screencasting software. All right. Okay. Um, and then if it was successful, I'm going to keep going. So exit will kill the rest of this page from loading. So now what I'm going to say is, did I actually get any results returned? So I can ask result what its number of rows is. So we have rows in our table. And if the number of rows is zero, that means I didn't get anything back from the query. Uh, no things returned. So there's no, nothing in the table. Okay. If there is something in the table, then I want to grab them out and look at them. So this is a little bit weird, but this um, result is basically a giant bundle of all, all the stuff in my table. And so I need to pull the pieces out of the bundle. So I'm going to say... Let's set this thing called row equal to result, oops, equal sign, sorry. And I'm going to ask my result to get one, basically, row of this thing. And while there's more rows to get, I'm going to pull the pieces out of them. So I know in my thing table, let me go and just double check what the things in there are called. In my thing table... I have thing IDs, things names, and thing pictures. So I'm going to make those variables over here. A thing ID. And I'm going to ask this current row to grab from the database table thing ID. And you got to be careful about the capitalization. So I remember when I made my database, I made these guys all start with capital letters. Okay. And then I'm going to grab my thing name from the row. And I'm going to grab my thing picture from the row. Okay, and now I've got all these things. So let's print them out on the page so you can see them. All right, so we'll, get, we'll put the thing ID um, and a hyphen and then a thing name. Okay, and a break tag. And then on the next line, let's actually print out the image. So remember, I'm saving these images as just file names, soda.jpg. Back in my site, they're actually in this folder called images, so I need to incorporate that in my source. I'm going to say my image source equals, oops, single quotes, images slash, and then I need to grab the, uh, I lost my dollar sign here, let me fix that real quick. Okay, thing, picture, that'll grab the file name. I gotta get back into my quotes and close out the image tag and let's put another break. So the next picture will be on the next line. All right, let's see if this actually worked. So here I am back on my page, let me refresh this. Sweet, so here is my first thing's ID, its name and its picture rendered as an image tag. Here's my second thing's ID, name and picture rendered as an image tag. And then just to be nice and clean in my coding, um, when I'm done doing all that, I'm going to close the connection like that. 
and let's verify it still works. Once I do that and save, everything's all good. And so that is how you query and grab stuff out of a database table.